It's me, Mario! Hey everyone, Parakid64 here. You can stop removing the SD card from your analog 3D. The console itself actually has a hidden feature that lets it work as an SD card reader. Just plug it directly into your computer via USB and some special button combinations. Now I know some of you might still prefer using an external card reader maybe because you don't want to disconnect your console every time. So in this video I'll show you both methods, the traditional SD card reader approach and then the hidden built-in method. But check out the timestamps if you just want to skip ahead. So yeah, let's start with the regular method. First though I'll show you how to properly remove the SD card since I know some people have had problems with this in the past. First off, before you unplug the SD card, make sure that your system is off. So yeah, here's the back of the console. And as you can see on the SD card, there's this little tab on the top here. And so basically what I do is I just put my fingernail on it and then I just kind of pull back. Yeah, and I just barely cut my fingernails too. So maybe don't cut your fingernails before you do this, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, I mean, again, I just barely cut my fingernails. I'm still able to pull it out. Yeah, that's all I do, just use my fingernail on that little tab. And then another thing to keep in mind is that the, the analog 3D SD card is a little bit shorter than a regular SD card. And so if the SD card slot on your computer is flush when you push it in, then you probably won't want to just put this in uh, by itself, otherwise it might get stuck. Whereas on the other hand, if you have a computer like my MacBook here, where the SD card doesn't fit in all the way anyways, then this is probably fine. Well, it is fine. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to use an external SD card reader like this one that I have, which just takes a ton of different cards. And if you don't already have an SD to USB adapter, then here's a good one that I found on Amazon, which I don't personally have, but looks like it has really good reviews and it sold 10,000 in the last month. So yeah, I think you can't go wrong with this one. However, if you don't have an SD card reader like that, then you can actually just leave it plugged into the analog 3D. And then uh, you're, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you unplug all of your accessories or controllers. Um, I don't think you have to unplug the game, but it's, I don't know, probably a good idea just to make sure everything's unplugged just in case. And then uh, just for, you probably don't have to unplug the HDMI cable, but just for clarity, I'm gonna do that as well. And then again, just uh, make sure that the analog 3D is off, that this LED isn't on. And then you're gonna wanna unplug it from the wall. And then you can plug it directly into your computer. Um, so yeah, just this USB-C to USB-C cable that came with the analog 3D. You can see I'm using the USB-C port on the back here. So yeah, you can plug that directly into your computer. Um, now, if you don't have a USB-C port on your computer, then you can also use a USB-C to USB-A cable, um, which I think I actually probably will be using because I found that that's a bit more reliable. But yeah, we'll see if this works first. I did get this to work earlier, but um, I'll show you what happens sometimes with this USB-C to USB-C cable. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, so see, sometimes when you use the USB-C to USB-C, it just keeps on flashing and like the fan comes on for a second and then it will, yeah, it just is kind of like in this loop. And so, yeah, you don't want to try to access the SD card when it's doing this. So if this is happening with you, uh, with your console, with the USB-C to USB-C cable, then yeah, just don't worry about it. Just don't use the USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, we're just going to put that aside and I'm just going to use the USB-C to USB-A cable that came with the um, the 8-Bito analog or the 8-Bito N64 controller that's meant to be used with this analog 3D. So yeah, we're just going to plug the USB-C into the USB-C port on the back here. There's also these USB-A ports, but yeah, don't use those. And then we're going to plug the USB-A uh, side onto into the computer. And then as you can see, it flashed me maybe you didn't see that because i wasn't pointing the camera but it flashed once the fan came on really quickly and then it just turned off so this is the state you want to be in basically just wait about five seconds after you plug it in and if this isn't flashing <laughs> like it was before with the usb-c cable then you're then you're good um, so then at that point you're going to want to hold down the reset button and then you're going to want to hold up on the power button until 
you can see that turned green. Once that uh, light turns green, then you're good and you can release it. And then if you come over to your computer, you can see that it has um, now popped up here is just a removable drive. And so yeah, I'm just gonna open that up. This is on Linux, but it should work on Windows as well or uh, Mac. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so this is my analog 3D SD card. Okay, and that's how you connect the analog 3D SD card to your computer. And again, we went over either using that an external SD card of reader, or you can use that analog 3D analysis itself. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.